everybody. Hello. Today is time for smoke, stop smoking strategy number 10. And what it is, is taming your, your triggers. So triggers are known as things or people or circumstances that drive you, drive you to grab a cigarette and light it up, or at the very least get you thinking about smoking. Now to tame triggers, you'll first need to identify what they are and put them into a list. And private message me, I'd be happy to send you a copy of the Taming Triggers handout, which you can use for this purpose. Now, then for each trigger, once you've identified them, add a list of strategies that will help you cope. Examples are, of triggers are things like when you're around others who are smoking, after a meal, drinking coffee or alcohol, facing a stressful situation, or driving in your car. Let's say maybe a trigger for you is boredom or anger or, or after work and during breaks at work or even after sex. Come up with a way to manage each and every trigger. And it might be the same way for some of them. It might be completely different strategies for each. Things that will work for you that are doable and that will make you more mindful of your smoking. Here are some strategies that might help, but I'd really like you to come up with some of your own. You want to change your daily routine and, and most importantly, your smoking routine. We talked about that in one of our other strategies. Make smoking uncomfortable. Make it unfamiliar. Now, you also want to change to a less desirable brand of cigarettes, perhaps, or use your opposite hand. Again, another way to make smoking feel unfamiliar. Throw out your lighter and just use matches or use the four D's. That was another strategy that we covered a few days ago. And the four D's were drink water, delay, deep breathe, and distract yourself. And we talked about some ways to, um, I taught you a couple ways uh, about how to do the deep breathing techniques. And there's some right in the Breathe Easy Boot Camp that are free for you to review as well. After a meal, get up right away, do the dishes, brush your teeth, gargle with mouthwash, and go for a walk. Those are all great things to do right after you eat. Learn healthier ways to deal with stress because there really is nothing in that cigarette that relieves stress. The thing is that when we um, are faced with a stressful situation, we fall back on what we know and what we've always done though. And for some of us, that's smoke. But even just the up and down levels of nicotine in our body are more stressful than, um, than not having those up and down levels of nicotine in the body at all. And anger, like taking a long uninterrupted bubble bath would be a, an amazing way to deal with stress and anger. Think of healthier ways to beat boredom, like a new hobby or activity, or um, maybe it's an adult coloring book, whatever it might be, just keeping your mind off smoking. Now you might have to avoid coffee and alcohol for a bit, or at the very least reduce the amount of coffee you are drinking. People who smoke metabolize caffeine quicker than those who do not. And therefore, people who are smokers can drink more coffee than non-smokers. By reducing your coffee intake, you are ensuring that you don't become toxic from the caffeine as well, which can make you feel very nauseous and dizzy and uncomfortable. Another strategy we talked about was making your home and car tobacco-free because that very simple thing to do. Well, it's not that simple, I guess. It's it's not that easy, but it's very effective, but it'll make you one and a half times more successful at quitting for good. So today's all about taming triggers. Let me know if you want me to share the taming triggers handout with you. Let me know what your triggers are and how you manage them. I am giving away two free memberships in the Breathe Easy Bootcamp. And if you comment and leave me some information about what you do to tame certain triggers, uh, you could be entered to win a free access to the Breathe Easy Boot Camp. Thank you all, and we'll talk. We'll talk to you tomorrow, where when we'll find out what stop smoking strategy number eleven is.